Hi guys, this is Fuli. In today's video, I am gonna show you how to fix MailPoet email authentication error with your custom domain. All right, with that being said, let's get started. All right, let's go to the MailPoet settings in your WordPress website. You probably already have this message, so click the authenticate button here. We are going to add the following DNS records to your domain's DNS settings. Next, log into your web hosting and locate the DNS editor link. I am using SiteGround. It's under the domain menu right here, DNS zone editor. Click C name. That is the first record that we will enter first. Let's go back to your WordPress website. Click this icon to copy the value of the name. Click into the name box. Make sure you delete dot your domain name.com right here because SiteGround already has that for us. Your web hosting might be different. You have to pay attention to that. Next, we are going to copy this value that we will add it to the Resolves to box. Once it's done, click the Create button. There it is. That's the first record. And then let's go back for the second CNAME record. Click the Copy icon. Let's go back to the web hosting. We have to click the back button here. Make sure it's under the CNAME and then paste it right there and we have to delete the .domain.com again and then let's go back to the MailPoet settings to copy the CNAME value for the second record let's go back to the web hosting again add it right there click the create button there it is again the second record next let's go back to the third record Hey guys, if you're looking to boost your website's performance or need a thorough audit, I offer comprehensive WordPress website audits. I'll dive into the details of your site and provide personalized recommendations to help improve your site. For the most up-to-date pricing or more information, please check out the link in the description below. All right, click the icon to copy the TXT or text host record right here. Let's go back to the web hosting and we have to select the TXT right here text. Add the value that we got from the MailPoet settings to the name box. Make sure we delete the .domainname.com here if your host already has it added at the end of this field. And next, let's go back to the MailPoet settings to copy the value of this text. Let's go back to the web hosting and add the value into this box and click the create button there it is the third record click the back button to go back to add the fourth or the last record and then let's go back to the mail poet settings to copy the last text record host name here let's go back to the web hosting again for the last record it's still under txt add the value in there and delete the domain name next let's go back to mail poet settings again to copy the value of this record and let's go back to the web hosting. Just ignore the required field error message. Paste the text value of the last DNS record and then click the create button. There it is, the last record. Click the back button again or just scroll down to see all four records. Okay, they look all right to me overall. So let's go back to our WordPress website in the mail poet settings. Click the verify the DNS records button. Uh oh, I have an error here. It looks like I have multiple values in some of the records. Here's how to fix your mistake, or in this case, my mistake. Let's copy that value again of the last record. And let's go back to the web hosting. Oh, here they are. These are duplicate records, but I'm going to show you how to edit one record. Just click the pencil icon. Next, you'll get a pop-up window to edit the record. Just leave the cache duration setting as default. I just forgot to mention that earlier. Let's paste the correct value here. Then click the confirm button once it looks good. 
Now these two records are mashing, but we want to keep only one. So just click the garbage can icon at the end of the row to delete one of them. And let's go back to the male poet settings to click the verify the DNS records button again. Da, it works! Great work on learning how to fix this! Up next, discover the best AI chatbot plugins by watching this video if you haven't had a chatbot installed on your website yet. Have a fantastic day wherever you are and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye for now!